just want you to know that a lot of times people may treat you a little different because of the encounter that you've had with them. Whether you've been, you know, actively working on a job or in the field out here somewhere, maybe you've had a conversation with someone and then all of a sudden they act weird around you. And the reason for the weirdness is because their lives have not been the same since you. See, as a chosen one, you carry the spirit of God inside of you and you're able to divinely connect with people. And the spirit of God scares people. You know, it, it makes them feel very uncomfortable. And so they treat you different. They treat you weird. They're standoffish. You know, they used to speak to you and they don't speak to you anymore. And the reason why is because they had been able to run from things that have had them in bondage for years. They've been able to pacify those things with working long hours or masking it with alcohol or masking it with, you know, just the various things that they could use to, you know, just cover that up. And the encounter with you, what it did is it literally knocked the mask off of what they've been running from. So then there you pop up with the spirit of God in you and you were able to and you didn't even know that you did touch them in their spirit, in their mind. And now they see everything that should have been done a long time ago. And for chosen ones, it makes us feel like, what did we do wrong? Uh, you know, they were cool. They don't even speak to me. I, You know, I really didn't do anything. It's not what you did wrong. It's what you did right. It's the spirit that you have on the inside of you, it radiates out to other people. And as a light in this dark environment, it makes people nervous. People can fake the funk with so many things, but when they encounter you, they can't be fake. Have you ever just encountered people and they tell you their life story just in passing? Have you ever had it? Influential people just tell you their life story. It's because of God in you. The light of God in you, it brings out the truth in people. And I don't know if you realize it, people can't handle the truth. See, as chosen individuals, we're truthful and we're honest. And you know, sometimes people tell things to you and they can't believe that they told it to you. So then they're in their head about you and you're not even thinking about that. But that is how the spirit of the Lord manifests through you. They know right now that you can see through their mess. They know right now that before they even say something, you already know what they're going to say. They know right now that you know why they run from you. They know right now. That's no doubt because you've got that answer. I'm telling you, a lot of chosen ones are em empathetic people. We feel energies. We can feel an energy off of a person. I can sit down and talk to people and pretty much tell them about their lives. Now, you know, Karen, that, you know, being, you know, that open like that, it's, it's uncomfortable because if you really care about somebody and you know what they're up to, it hurts you. But, you know, it's not even about us. It's the one that sent us in this environment to do work for him. But I want to encourage you today that if you feel alone or if you feel like you don't understand why you get this reaction up out of folks, I want you to know that when you step up in the room, they know that you know what they've been hiding. You don't even have to know these people. The reason why they know that you know what they've been hiding is because you carry God with you. And when people look at you, they know that you can see through the facade.
They know that you can see them for who they really are. They know that you know what they have been hiding. And it's only through the eyes of God radiating through you. I want you to think about that on this Sabbath and give God some glory and thank him for trusting, trusting you with such a gift because I realize, because I have it too, that that gift, it came at a price. I love you guys. Mwah. Peace. And I always believe in you. Bye now. <laughs>